Hello everyone and welcome back to our quest series. In this episode we're going to add the next type of objective, we'll be adding kill objectives. So this allows us to kill targets and add them to our objective list for our quests. So let's get started. So we're going to start off by adding in the uh, kill item uh, or objective type. So we've got a gun already part of the first person template so let's make a little target for us to be able to kill. So we're going to go into create a new blueprint class, we'll create a new character and we'll just put in this as target dummy and we'll just give this a very simple mesh to follow, we're not going to do anything too crazy, uh, we'll just use actually a cube here, really stand out as something a bit unique there, okay, pile that, okay, so when this guy gets hit um, by, well actually no, we'll just do some damage on here. So variables will do uh, health on here as a float. So whatever health system you're doing to your game, uh, it doesn't really matter what we do here, but leave it up to you. So I'm putting health as 100 here. And when I take any damage, We'll take health and subtract that damage value from it. And we check then if this health here is less than or equal to uh, zero. And that basically means their death. So when a target like this dies, we want to give them an objective ID, much like how we have an interactive element that's got an objective ID. Our enemies and targets will also have objective IDs associated to them. So we're going to go and add a variable in here for objective ID. And that'll be a string. Okay, and if we wanted to we'll make that instance editable, so we can change which ones are applicable. So on this one in particular, when it's run out of its health, we're going to get the player character. And then from there, we are going to cast to our first person character. And we are now able to call on objective ID called. And we can just plug in that objective ID there. So when it dies, it shouts out from the player's perspective what the objective ID is. So I'm going to put that there. And let's put that into our scene here. There we are, there's our character. Okay, so first of all, let's make it so that these things uh, can be damaged and can be destroyed. So as well as calling out their objective ID, we will also make it so that they are destroyed. So destroy actor, like so. And then we go to our projectile that we're shooting out of our weapon over here. On here, we're just doing an impulse and a destroy actor of the projectile itself, but I'm also going to damage the thing we're hitting as well. <clears throat> so we'll take the other pin and do apply damage. And uh, we'll just add that to the end here. I'll put it after, uh, before, like, before we destroy the part, uh, projectile. So the base damage here will do 25. So it takes four shots for it to destroy it. Uh, damage causer will be self. And instigator would we'll do get player controller. Okay, that'll do. So if I shoot this thing, hopefully it disappears. So notice that it's going straight through. That's because its collision settings are not set to receive projectiles. So we go to its capsule co component, go down to its collision settings. Customize it and tell projectile here to be oh block. Uh, I because it's a pawn type, and our thing's been told to ignore pawns. We'll just change this to a world dynamic for now. That'll make our projectile hit it. There you go. Okay, so now it's not destroying, and that is because it's not simulating physics. This only happens when we simulate physics, so we'll just do that on false as well destroy actor there okay so now 
I should work. Oh, no, destroyers. So, the destroying part works fine. We just need to make a quest now, be able to register when that's been destroyed. We'll put a few of them in our scene as well. So let's put a couple in there. And I want to want to set their objective ID. So over here on the default setting over here, I can see objective ID and we'll do a uh, target. Um, I'll just call it target. I'll do it with target dummy. Whatever ID you want to use, it doesn't matter. Type in whatever you like. So I'm going to make all three of these have the same ID. So shooting, killing any of these will trigger that objective ID to fire. So now I'm going to go and edit my quest to have that in there. So go to quest system, go to my quest data, go to my first quest here. Okay, so our first objective to interact with something is already in there. We'll make another one. And this one will say uh, kill three target dummies. Um and type will change it to a kill objective id target dummy quantity three okay and that'll do so now if i go up to my npc pick up the quest we're going to see i have two objectives now okay i haven't put the description in but it'll, there it is there um so now if i get the thing here i can There you go, we've completed the objective. And if I interact with this, we get that objective done, and then the whole quest is um, done. Okay, one out of three out of three, one out of one. So uh, let's just add in that little descriptor there so you can see that working. Uh, find and destroy three target dummies. And we can now. Go pick up that quest and you'll see find and destroy three target dummies. Go one, two, three, four. And there we go, we've done our three target dummies. And you can see that is now ticked off on our list here. Okay, and there we have it. We can now kill things and clear the objective to uh, kill things. And there you have it. We can now kill our uh, target dummies to get uh, credits towards our objectives in our quests. And as you can see, using Objective ID is a really flexible system and allows us to work with it in many different ways. One such way is the location type of objective, which we can see in the next episode. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. You can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.